Hello, this is Miss Carlson, and I'm going to try my very best to provide you with a tutorial about um, how you can create some folders for yourself for your courses this semester. And please understand, I am not a techie. Um, I'm just doing my best as a teacher um, in terms of, and I'm a literature teacher, not a computer teacher, um, but I'm gonna try my best to help you stay organized or to start being organized. Um, and creating folders is one way that I've been able to um, keep my, at least my work and school life organized if even the rest of my life is a little messy. Um, so let's see, let's start with um, what we're looking at here is just what it looks like from the Windows operating system, just when you're on your desktop. Mine's a little bit messy right now. I probably shouldn't have quite this many things on here, but we'll deal with that at a later time. Um, what I want you to know is, um, oh shoot, and now you cannot see my um, little toolbar here, but if you go to, um, there's like a thing called File Explorer, and I keep that on my, um, landing strip is what I call it. Um, but I think if you go to the type here to search bar and just look up file explorer or type in file explorer, that should come up as well. Um, and here is where, now I have a lot of stuff on here, right? I mean, I've had this computer for four years now teaching at Weba, so um, you possibly won't have quite this many things. But if I, this is kind of messy with all these icons showing on here. If you go to view, um, I just want to view a list. So I go to list that way. Um, I don't have to look at all that scrambled mess. I can just see things in alphabetical order. All right. So um, let's say you don't have any folders right now. I don't know. I don't know what situation you're in right now, but I want to create a new folder. Oops. Uh, hang on. Let's try this again. All right, um, right now I want to create a new folder. And right now, I don't know if you can see this, but new folder is grayed out here. It wants me to be in something other than quick access to be able to create a new folder. So for now, I don't want you to always create things on your desktop, but for now, um, if you go to desktop, now all of a sudden that's not grayed out anymore. So I can create a new folder on my desktop. So I can just click on that. And it jumps down here and it says new folder. I don't want it to um, be called new folder. I want it to say British literature, let's say 2023, because um, it is 2023 now. And when you graduate, it's still gonna be 2023 now and that's when you'll want it. Um, I could say semester two, but what I like about calling it um, 2023 is if you are using your own computer, you can still access these files far after you've graduated, right? And you'll know, oh, this, that's the year that I took British literature and I have an essay in there that I wanna look at. All right, and then I just click enter. <clears throat> and now I've got that folder on my desktop. And let's say I want to move some files into there. Um, let's say I've got some files in um, already on my desktop, um, which I don't right now. Um, hang on one second. All right, now I went and put some um, documents, some Windows or some Windows docs. Uh, what do I want to say? Word docs onto my desktop. I had everything organized before and didn't have anything sitting out on my um, desktop without a file for it. So now I've got a few different um, Word docs here. And if you want to, you can even click on type and it will list it by category like this um, so that you don't have to sit and sift through. All right, so I've got a research paper on Yeats. I've got a modernist poetry assignment and some other things. And I want all of those in my British Literature 2023 folder, let's say. So I can click on that first one. And then if I click shift and click on that last one, it highlights all of them and I can just drag them into that British literature folder. 
And that's where I want to put all of my things for British literature from 2023. I want that all in my folder. And what I'd love to see is that you have folders for every single one of your courses for this semester. And I'm going to make an assignment that's going to ask um, for you to show me that you have folders for each of those um, courses that you're taking this semester. And if you're taking credit recovery, um, you've got a credit recovery folder as well for anything you need to save for that. All right, that's it for my um, quick, very quick lesson on creating a folder and putting some things in a folder. And we'll talk soon.